2014 started off with the baptism of 32 babies in the Sistine Chapel. It's part of a Vatican tradition, but it marked the first time Pope Francis held the celebration. He highlighted that passing on the faith to one's children is not only a gift, but a responsibility. Voi siete trasmissore della fede. Voi avete il dovere di trasmettere la fede a questi bambini. The Pope also blessed 174 families from the neo-catechumenal way. They decided to leave everything behind and become missionaries in Asia or Africa. The tension and violence in Ukraine was rising, and the Pope time and time again called for peace. Sono vicino con la preghiera all'Ucraina, in particolare a quanti hanno perso la vita in questi giorni e alle loro famiglie. The same month of January, a report confirmed that between 2011 and 2012, about 400 priests were defrocked or removed from the priesthood for cases of sexual abuse. It happened under the orders of then-Pope Benedict XVI. The Pope Emeritus got to celebrate his brother's 90th birthday in the Vatican. Three musicians performed for Georg Ratzinger in an exclusive celebration. It marked one of the few occasions when Benedict XVI was seen publicly. You know, one of the things I noticed about him was that he seemed less frail than before he resigned. It's almost as if the weight of the Catholic Church was kind of off his shoulders, although I know he constantly prays for the Church. And very modern arts like this also came to light in the month of January. Residents who live just feet away from the Vatican woke up to this drawing of a superhero along one of the main streets of the neighborhood. The Super Pope was made overnight by a local artist, and the image quickly made its way around the globe. 